I used to think I loved tacos until I stumbled across this little taqueria over here that made me think that I don't actually love tacos. I'm gonna have to downgrade that to like because this guy, the guy who owns this place loves tacos. I'm telling you what. When you go to the delivery page for this place, he has a little about section. And let me read you a couple blurbs here. He starts off with a sizzling hot question of, how long are you going to eat tacos that are not tacos? Dude lives on tacos and dies on tacos. He went to Mexico twice, eight different states, 15 different cities, just to research tacos so he could come back here and start a taqueria of his own. He is so crazy about tacos that his nickname is On Taco. On is his family name, so his nickname is basically just Taco. He says his carnitas are made the local way in Michoacan, Mexico, so they're di very different from the tacos commonly eaten in Korea. So they may be difficult to eat for those new to tacos. I'm not new to tacos. I've had tacos in Mexico before. Anyway, pretty small menu, actually extremely small. Only four different types of tacos and I got all four of them. They have two different sides. We have some homemade chips and we also have some chicharrones and we got a Coke over here. All of this costs $26, so a little bit hefty. I'm not as interested in these sides to be honest with you. Also included were two little things of guac, some kind of pico de gallo here, and two other kinds of sauces that I don't know what they are. But again, don't really care about those. I'm mostly focused on the tacos. You probably can't really see that much of what's going on here, but the one over here is suadero, AKA beef. Next we have carnitas, which is pork. And then we have camarón, which is shrimp. And then we have the pescadito, which is fish over here. And I'll give you a better look at those individually right now, I guess. So let me just start off with, I'm gonna start off with the shrimp. It's probably the one that I'm least knowledgeable about, to be honest with you. It's very delicate here. These are packed to the brim. Wow. So we got what looks like a homemade tortilla. And here is the shrimp on the bottom. This can get a little bit fiddly here because it's just so packed. But we have, we got cilantro, we got I don't know. There's a whole damn slurry on this thing, which usually, I don't know, when I had tacos in Mexico, I found this like low-key spot and it was just straight up like onions and cilantro. You'll have to let me know if this is authentic or not, but it's like a whole damn like coleslaw looking thing on top. Also got a lime wedge. Let's try it out. Man. You can definitely taste right off the bat the TLC and some of the authenticness and the the tortilla really stands out right off the bat. Um, tastes super fresh, hand pressed, you know what I'm saying? Um, the flavors of that corn are coming through strong. The shrimp itself, if it were up to me, I would have put like double the shrimp and like halved the this little slurry slaw on top. That's just my style, but uh, you can definitely taste that shrimp flavor coming through. It's cooked nice, it's breaded and fried, tasty. Um, and then you're getting a lot of that slaw, again, which, mm, not really sure what to think about all, like carrots. Is that, is that authentic, man, carrots? I would call this delicious. It tastes super clean and fresh and light, but also delicious. Very tasty. Again, I'm just thinking, I'm just wondering, man. Could you have doubled up on the shrimp there? Um, are carrots even a legal play in this situation? I don't, I don't know. Let me try some of these sides first. Homemade nachos or chips. a little palate cleanser. That's good. Walk. That's good. This. Mmm. That's good. And last but not least, this.
Yeah, all good. Zero questions about any of this stuff down here. Try to teach her own as well. I never knew I liked these as much as I do. So good. These ones are super airy. And light and crispy. I don't even know how you make them this light and airy. Super crispy, crunchy, delicious. Moving on. Fish. Looking kind of similar, bigger piece of fish though. And it's actually looking like two pieces of fish. This one appears to have like similar kind of veg mixture on top. Maybe with some added pineapples, I believe that's what I'm seeing back here. Going in. Man, similar vibes to be honest with you. Similar vibes to the last one, except a little bit more fish. Not sure what kind of fish they're using here. Super fresh and clean. Everything I said about that last one kind of translates over to this one as well. Let's try to dip it. Let's try it out. That's one of those things that like, I could eat a ton of those and not feel that bad about myself because it just, it feels so fresh. Can definitely taste the TLC in that one too. But um, let's move on to the main event. These are, I can't lie, I mean, these are the ones that I'm most interested in here. Once again, I believe this one is the carnitas and this one is the beef. You can tell right off the bat, the structure of this one is quite different. Um, good piece of meat here. Really nice and no none of that slaw we just basically have some onions and some cilantro and then maybe some kind of sauce as well going in okay this is tasting real OG to me. For one, it's just, it's just mighty fine. But I love all tacos. You know, I love Tex-Mex tacos, fusion tacos, American style tacos. You know, Midwest style, you know, just the Ortega, Taco Bell, you name it. But this, this is what I'm looking for. The more kind of authentic vibes. This one tastes like something that I would have eaten right on those streets. <clears throat> Um, and a couple of reasons why, let's just say like when I get carnitas from like Taco Bell, um, it's kind of like a, the consistency is like pulled pork. It's very consistent and is very, uh, uniform. Whereas in this, you're getting odd, like maybe not odd, but different size pieces and different textures. And you are getting that kind of shredded vibe as well with some of the pieces, but also, you know, this is more of a bark vibe. You're getting definitely more textures and potentially even different parts of, of meat in there. So good. I don't even really want to mess with these sauces when it comes to these, these meat ones, so. And I even, I completely forgot about this Coke, so I'm just, whatever. This is what they're calling suadero, which honestly, if this wasn't written down on the box, I wouldn't, I might think this was the pork. I would get confused uh, between this one and the last one. I can't lie. But maybe we can uh, pull some flavors out of this and see if you can detect that beef, beefiness. Oh, man. Yeah. It's almost like a, like stew meat. I, I don't know. Man, I just, I don't want to, I want to stay in my lane here and I don't really know what I'm talking about, but. It's 
almost like this beef has been stewed and then broken up and put in this taco. If you close your eyes, this is one of those where sometimes you just gotta close your eyes because you can get transported to a different location. The memories are hitting me. The little place I went that's still vividly in my mind in Mexico. Real low-key spot. Um, they had a lot of like tripe kind of meats and stuff there. Which at the time I was like, like probably 19 when I went, I was like, eh ate it and I was like damn that's fire and I remember we got like 13 tacos for like the cheapest of all prices but way cheaper than uh, 26 bucks for four tacos I'll tell you that much right now actually well I guess that does include these sides and the drink but anyway I digress that's pretty much it I mean I guess I'll finish these off these little sides off real quick but and let me just tell you what uh, someone like this guy taco I don't know how he had the, the nerve, the guts to just pick up, pack up, go to Mexico, 15 different cities. Come back and open up a taqueria in Seoul. But I respect the hell out of it. I think it must be kind of a somewhat new place there weren't that many reviews, but I, I did see there was one, like, one-star review. And dude went off. I didn't take the time to read it. But someone wasn't really satisfied with, like, the pork, I think it was. They said, they said it was too greasy. I read that part from the customer. His re reply to that it was a wall. He said, I'm not reading that. But he's passionate. And he, uh... Well, I assume he was standing up, sticking up for his, his flavors. I'll tell you what, man. I guess if there was one thing I would say to this guy, it would be, hook me up. Hook me up with some more food, man. Hook me up with some more tacos. I'm just kidding. It would be like, ooh. Give me some rice and bean options. That's, that's still my only complaint. And I don't know if that's really how authentic that would be to find at a, a real taqueria. But that has been my constant complaint about all Mexican places here in, in Korea. I basically talk about it every time I get some kind of good tacos. His rice and, and bean game is, is so whack. But it is what it is. I, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm happy. I'm it's a good meal. But yeah, man, I don't know. Seems authentic to me. At the very least, uh, I respect what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure there's all different types of variations throughout Mexico. So like, you know, if you've been to a certain spot and like, man, they don't do that over in this place. Well, they might do it in some other place or they might not. And this guy's tripping. I don't know. All I know is, uh, I enjoyed it. So I'm staying out here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.